Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. NISAR is short of NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. It is an Earth Science Satellite being jointly built by NASA and Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. NISAR will provide critical information on ecosystem disturbances to ice sheet collapses and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and landslides. By delivering the measurements at unprecedented precision, NISAR's promise is new understanding and positive impact in communities. Data acquired from this mission will be useful in taking measures to minimize the loss of human lives. With a cost of estimated 1.5 billion US dollar, NISAR is also likely to be the world's most expensive earth imaging satellite. It is also the first big collaboration between NASA and ISRO. NISAR is going to be a dual frequency that is L and S band synthetic aperture radar for Earth observation. NASA will provide the mission's L band SAR and reflector antenna, deployable boom, a high rate communication subsystem for science data, GPS receivers, a solid state recorder, and payload data subsystem. ISRO will provide the spacecraft bus, the S-band SAR, the launch vehicle and associated launch services and satellite mission operations. The NISAR when launched will gather radar data with drum-shaped reflector antenna almost 40 feet or 12 meters in diameter. It will use a signal processing technique called Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar or INSAR to observe changes in Earth's land and ice surfaces down to fraction of an inch. The observation NISAR makes The observations which NISAR is going to make will help researchers measure the way in which Earth is constantly changing by detecting both subtle and dramatic movements. Slow moving variations of land surface can precede earthquakes, landslides, and volcanic eruptions, and data about such movement could help communities prepare for natural hazards. Measurement of melting sea ice and ice sheets will improve understanding of the pace and impact of climate change, including the rise in sea level. And the observations of planets, forest, and agricultural regions will improve our knowledge of carbon exchange between atmosphere and plant communities reducing uncertainties in models used to project future climate. Now, over the course of its three-year prime mission, the satellite will observe nearly the entire planet every 12 days, making observation day and night in all weather conditions. Now let's talk about the NISAR development timeline. On 4th March 2021, ISRO's S-band SAR payload of NISAR was shipped from Space Application Center Ahmedabad to Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL NASA for integration with L-band SAR payload of NASA. Since early 2021, once it was shipped, engineers and technicians at JPL have been integrating and testing NISAR's two radar systems, the L-band SAR provided by JPL and the S-band SAR built by ISRO. Now later this month, they will move the SUV size payload into a special cargo container for a 14,000 km flight to India's UR Rao Satellite Center in the city of Bengaluru. There, it will be merged with a spacecraft bus in preparation for a 2024 launch from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.